Brooklyn Independent Television. The Bedford Stuyvesant Volunteer Ambulance Corps is the nation's first minority-run organization of its kind. Now more than two decades after its founding, this pioneer group isn't only saving lives, they're changing them with their emergency medical technician training courses. Jenny Passe Rodriguez met the future first responders. Ma'am, I'm going to tilt you backwards, okay? A Will Delara isn't really being taken to the hospital, but someday she wants to be the first on the scene. I would like to be able to save lives, or at least to try to save lives. Awilda is one of 24 students enrolled in the EMT training class at the Bedford Stuyvesant Volunteer Ambulance Corps. Now, say for instance he was 40 years old. I mean, it would still be good if it weren't 20 over 80. That would still be good. It wouldn't be a crisis if it's one forty over 80 or 90 because of his age. The Bedford Stuyvesant Volunteer Ambulance Corps was started in 1988 by Commander James Rocky Robinson and his partner Joe Perez. The minority operated Volunteer Ambulance Corps recently got approval from the State Department of Health to teach the EMT basic training course. If the person is not comfortable in the chair, okay, and they're freaking out by being in the chair and they really feel like they'd be better laying down. It is in your in best interest to be carrying the patient down in the position that's going to be most comfortable for them. The worst thing that can happen is to be halfway down the flight of stairs and the person start freaking out, grab onto something, throw you off balance, and everybody go tumbling down. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, um, we have 24 students that come in and we lecture to them about different medical emergencies that they'll encounter, how to assess a patient, how to treat the patient. I've learned CPR, I've learned lifting and moving, as you can see, vital signs that you've seen inside that we would check in the pulses, the human body anatomy. Keep it back here, ready? Straight up, look it up. Now on count. Two, three. Ronald Ferguson says the hands-on practice helps put the coursework in perspective. It's challenging. It's very challenging. You have to study a lot. And I'm still trying to pick myself up to study, but I'm working on that. And I will get it. On top of the 170 hours of training, students are expected to spend an additional 150 hours studying in preparation for the August 19th test. So the next time you hear ambulance sirens, it just may be some of these students coming to the rescue. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Jenny Passe Rodriguez. One, two, three. Uh-huh. Very good. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.